Tube, I'm Barry from My Virgin Kitchen. Today I'm showing you three different drinks you can enjoy during the match. Check these out. Right, so before we dive straight in, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, I'm from the West Country and I love cider. So we've got two beers and one cider. Right, so first up is something called the Southville Hop from the Bristol Beer Factory. Let's crack it open and see what we think. Ooh, that smells, that smells really tropical actually. It smells like, like a can, like a tropical juice drink. Let's, uh, let's get it out of the bowl. Ooh. Right, so I've just poured it out and it's looking like a real nice, deep, rich amber color. Ooh, it's still quite bitter, but for a beer, I'm actually kind of liking that. It's, it's strong, it's tangy. There is still that fruit flavor in there, which I'm liking a lot. Right folks, so my conclusion with this Southfield Hop is it's a good start and I actually do like it and I would drink it again, which is a good thing because I've got another three bottles in the fridge. Right, so next up from the very popular London brewery, Meantime, there is Chocolate Porter. That's right, it's a chocolate beer and they actually put real chocolate in during the brewing process. So um, I'm pretty excited to try this one out. Ooh, that smells like a mocha fucking cappuccino thing that you get from a coffee shop. Wow guys, check out how dark that is. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit like a pourable Willy Wonka chocolate lake. Not really gonna happen, but... Oh, my goodness guys, that tastes pretty darn good. I guess in my mind I was thinking it was gonna taste of chocolate syrup, but I had to get over that. But it is the complete opposite of that last beer. It's not really that bitter, and so you can definitely taste the chocolate and a little bit of a mocha element. And there's a little bit of vanilla in there as well, I think. I'm going... I can taste that coming through. So my conclusion to meantime chocolate beer is 100% give this one a go because basically it's chocolate beer and it sounds a bit quirky and don't think it's gonna be chocolate sauce like I did. It will hold its own as a normal beer and it tastes great so definitely check this one out. Right, so last up is Thatcher's Gold Cider, one of my favorite ciders in the world. Uh, Thatcher's Factory is right by where I live. Oh my God, it's time to flip flop the lid off. We're getting good at that. Hello, I'll call you back. So yeah, it's called Thatcher's Gold and it is indeed gold in colour. It's a sparkling cider and it smells, it smells so good. Like I'm running around my local Somerset fields, picking apples off the trees, singing songs and on the weekends. Oh, the thing I love about Thatcher's cider is you can drink it, it's sparkling, but it doesn't sort of get a bit overkill in your throat. It's just sort of eases its way down. It's sparkling, but refreshing. There's a real good kick of the apples in there and it's mild to the point where you don't actually think that you're drinking cider, so I probably need to stop right now, but it really is that good. And it goes really well with a curry as well. Real spicy food again, a little bit of cider with this. Thatcher's Gold with a curry, boom, good times. So my conclusion with Thatcher's Gold, guys, is give this one a world too. It is so smooth and loving, and it will love you back. And if you're not really a beer fan, you like cider, I definitely recommend this one. So that's it then, guys, three drinks reviewed, but remember, there's a whole universe of drinks out there. I would love for you to let me know down below what is your favorite drink of choice on a match day. And if you're under the legal limit, I'm expecting you to tell me milk and fruit juice, all that stuff. Let's not get too excited about England's chances. We always get our hopes up, come on England, and they lose, but you never know. They could do it this year. Uh, if you wanna head over to FoodTube now, I've done some homemade crisps, like perfect for the match, three different ways in the microwave, frying it and baking it. So give that a go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe to My Virgin Kitchen. Drinks tube and food tube, and I'll see you again next time. Come on, England, please.